It's Jan Harris and Patrick Gamble. Good evening, everyone. Uh, just to explain a little bit about myself, I'm a psychic artist. Um, I've been a psychic artist now, came into this world about 17 years ago. We all need your love and your energy sent this way because it does really help us make a connection. Each and every one of you carries so much spiritual energy around you, which I'm going to sit down in a minute and I'm going to, I'm going to pray. I think I may need to pray a lot actually to make that connection, that help, that guidance for me. And we're going to, we're going to capture an image upon the canvas. To do that, I'm going to, I need the help of a guide that works through me, so it's kind of a little bit like overshadowing. And we work in oil paints, it will only work with the oils because that was what the guide used while he was on the earth plane. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much because we have a limited time, and I want to get down and tune in and get started. So I'm going to hand over to Jan. Thank you very much. Okay, I'd like to say good evening and welcome. And while Patrick is actually painting, I work with the spirit world. Uh, where I will build a connection with them and again it's your love and it's your inspiration that helps build that connection so I just like to say again welcome to everybody and to those just walking in the door so again as I'm starting to build an energy up here beside me I've got a lovely gentleman who shows me that he would have passed over to the world of spirit very very quickly he's taken me now to his heart area and I do feel that this is what took him to the world of spirit I am hearing the names David I'm hearing the name John connected to the gentleman here. I feel he was a father, um, and I do feel that he has family here with him this evening. Can anyone understand this so far? And again, I've got a lady over there. Um, I don't know if somebody's got a microphone here. I do feel there's a gentleman over there. Um, and as the gentleman is working with me now, I'm wanting to make that connection. Um, I've I think we're just not going to... Oh, the, the gentleman behind you with the microphone. Um, have you got... Yeah, brilliant. Okay, you understand everything that I've said about the gentleman in question here, yes? Yes. Yeah. And you would understand also that he is father to you yes. and not to someone else. Yes. Um, okay, and you understand as your father steps very close to you at this moment in time that... Um, you have been, he's telling me that you've been going through some issues here through life, okay? And you would understand also that very similar to the issues that you were going through, your father would have experienced also in his lifetime. And he's saying how difficult it was for him to have got through these things at, 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 the, at the time he was here on the earth plane. He's also making me feel here with himself a great sadness when he was here. He's talking about the two to three years before the passing when life had become very, very difficult for him. And he's saying uh, that he, he it, it's almost like before that passing time, those two to three years before, the stress that he carried was also what contributed to part of the passing here, yes? yes. He also takes me a little way back in his life because he shows me parts of his life where he would have worked extremely hard, he says. And the work that he did, he shows me, he was very manual with him as well. And he's saying he had to create that part of his life. He's saying he struggled before that even because he's saying people never understood or took him seriously with what he wanted to do and create through his work. You understand this? I feel also he was quite artistic and creative within his life um, and he would have put that also into the working atmosphere and environment that he would have done. So I do feel as he shows me this that he would have worked with wood and he worked with paints and other instruments. You understand that? You also understand the mark that he would have connected with in his life. Um, and I want to thank you um, because he's just referring to that there as well and i've got to say as he comes in close here on the your love vibration he's wanting to acknowledge with you how he is supporting you through this very difficult time he's telling me and again he brings that love to you you've seen the many tears that, that you've shed quite recently and he says these are on a daily basis now rather than just on the odd occasion He's saying that also he has been very close to you. He, and I want to go about two or three days ago, again, you were out with some friends, having a bit of fun, trying to lift the spirits, is what he's saying. But you 
lifted more than spirits, okay, because there were a few going down as well. You understand that, okay? Um, and he was very much around you, sharing that time with you. And with that, I'm just going to leave his love and blessings there with you and know that he's walking beside you and helping you through life is what he says, okay? I'd let's say thank you and God bless. Thanks. Okay, I do have also here a lady called Mary from the World of Spirit. As Mary's coming in and I'm feeling her energy around, I've got to say, I want to go with a lady of fuller figure here. I do want to go also again with a mother, and I do feel that she would be a grandmother also. Um, she shows me again the quickness and the time and the passing with herself. And I've got to say that she takes me also into my physical part. She shows me I would have had problems with my legs, and that there would have been a swelling or a water condition on the legs here. And again, that quickness of passing. Is there anyone who can understand what I'm saying so far? No, okay. Um, as I'm feeling with Mary, or the name Mary connecting to her, if I've got the name wrong, I apologize. Um, but it's, it's definitely that Mary connection here. And she's also telling me as well with herself, I want to be taken to my chest area, or a, a condition of, uh, again, I want to go with the heart feeling here. Can un someone understand that? Can you can, okay, thank you. Um, okay, as, uh, as I'm feeling this lady and she comes in, and again, I want to go with the, with, with the wonderful way that... Okay, do you want to hold the microphone? Okay, thank you, sweetheart. Um, as I'm feeling Mary, uh, and she's stepping that bit closer, and she's talking about uh, the wonderful way how you've conducted yourself, I've got to say, through quite a lot at the moment. Would you understand that? Um, and you've held yourself quite strong, is what she's saying. Now, your mother, as she's taken me back through life here as well, she's saying how she had to struggle and cope with an awful lot within her lifetime. And she says, that I did very much of this on my own. I had to support myself and my family with this. She shows me also there was jewellery that she left behind. She's talking of a necklace here, not expensive, I want to say. Um, and I do feel it would have had pearls across it and around. Would you understand that? Um, thank you. Uh, because she's saying here, again, it's being kept in a box at the moment. It's not something that's brought out often, is what she says. Um, as I'm feeling her vibration also, I want to say with Mary, um, she's talking about a hospital condition here. I stumbled over words then. I wanted to like this, so I do feel she would have had a problem at some time with the speech. You understand that? Thank you. Um, because she's just saying that, you know, that part of me got very difficult. She's talking about also with her physical self again. She's saying that I would have suffered quite a lot of problems. And I want to say personal lady problems here. Um, and again, because she's referring to how her dignity seemed to disappear with it. You understand that? I do feel also she's taken to my head. And I want to go also down to the, this side of my body, so this is my right side, where she also suffered, I feel like a stroke like or a symptom there, you understand that? And again, as I'm feeling that drooping here, I'm feeling my arm going, and she says, again, it was the frustration of life itself <laughs> that, you know, she really couldn't cope. She said, even though all these conditions were around me, my mind and that, it, it, it was still functioning, it was still strong, but the rest of me just seemed to fall apart, is what she says. She also suffered greatly, I want to say, with my hips and this side of her body, you understand that? And I do want to say I had um, osteoporosis, you understand? Thank you, because she's making my bones and everything feel very, very weak here. Um, and she's coming in quite strongly there. I'm withering very down, down quite quickly with her. But she says, you know, I, I used to be such a vibrant lady. I was so full of energy and she was a very proud lady, a strong lady. Um, she talks of a time of a marriage here, um, and then she talks of a separation and life alone. You understand that? Uh, she shows me that she would have got married in her early 20s here. Um, and again, she's just saying how life seemed to roll by so very quickly. Um, 
and she wishes that she could have done so much more within her life because she takes me to traveling here with herself also and she's saying I was never lucky enough to experience all the things that I used to dream of experiencing and again she stayed within the country rather than outside of the country she also shows me there is the connections of what I want to say again I want to go up uh, uh, away from here, from the south of the country, family connections. And she's saying there has been a building of family on the connection of family. Um, and she's quite pleased with this. She shows me also, I want to go with the number 27 here, of the date 27. Um, and I feel this is a birthday she's wishing to remember. Um, and as I say, I'm asking her the month of this, but I can't feel the month, okay? Um, but again, as she comes in, she's wanting to spread and give that love around you right now. And again, she talks of the difficulty and the hard time. I do want to go on a personal side with this, and as it's personal, I will never bring it into the open because it stays personal. But you understand what she's saying here. I do feel also with yourself, the sadness within is what she says. And this is why she comes around with that great gentle strength of hers that she would have really wanted to give you. When she was here, she supported you and helped you through times. And as a mother on the spirit side, she says, I will always support you. I will always be around. Never letting go of that love is what she says there. It's, it's special and it's unique what we have. The friendship you two had was beautiful, I've got to say. And it's always with you. Um, and she's wanting just to say thank you for all that you gave throughout her life also. Not only as a daughter, but as a friend, I've got to say. Um, and that was special to her also. So with that, I'm just going to leave the love and the blessings of that lovely mother with you. And I'd like to say thank you. Okay, Patrick's not finished yet, so I'm just going to let him give him a, a minute. <laughs> okay, or two. Patrick? No, he's, he's in Patrick's space now, so we can't disrupt him. Okay, again, as I'm working now, I do feel I want to come along this side here, um, and I am feeling a gentleman here. I do want to hear the name William, and I do want to hear the name Bill. Okay, my darling, you understand that William or Bill, uh, I want to go with a good tall man here, very slim build, as I'm stood looking at Bill. I want to also, uh, with Bill, he would have shown... He shows me a very well-dressed man, I've got to say. Um, I'm quite smartly dressed. Um, he, he's putting on a suit jacket here for the occasion. He says, now, I would have worn my shirt, my trousers, loved his shoes to be very highly polished. I'm looking at these shoes, they're glowing. He, so I feel, because of the glow on the shoes and the way they were polished, he would have also had an army connection here. I do feel he would have been in the army. And I do feel also with this lovely man, Bill, that he would have worn stripes on his arm also. Um, and he's just made corrected and he said, no, on my left arm. Okay, so he would have had the stripes. He shows me two, three stripes on his arm. You understand that? You would understand also, above that, I've got the crown here of, of uh, the Gloucesters, I've got to say, or a gloss. It looks like, if I'm mistaken, I'm not very good with army badges, but I, I feel that's what it was. He's very smart. The, the picture, he says, there is a picture of me within this uniform, um, and I would, he says, uh, is where he's pulled a cap here, not a beret, a cap on, um, and looking very smart. I also see a white belt with a gold buckle here. 